two. Part, part two, two, Rachel's foot restoration journey. <laughs> We're not going to do an assessment. We're just going to treat you like a normal person who just got her package in the mail and yeah. is so excited to try it and is like, what do I do? <laughs> do with all my fun items in here. I'm opening my stacers. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. The spacers are out. So the right way to put them on is to have like the flat edge along the base of your toes. And like that part, yeah, is like outward. I personally wear them upside down. because <laughs> I, no I, like, I like to like fit them into my toes. But put them on the right way first and we'll see how they feel. Yeah, it was hard. it's hard to get them over the third, especially, and the fourth toe. Like it is a lot of manipulation because there is no mobility. <laughs> I'm not moving my toes. They all stick together. Like, oh. One year. And they hurt, like, to pull them apart. Oh, so good. My baby toe. Yeah, oh, they're probably going to feel like your toes are being ripped apart. Mm. Okay, they're on. So you feel the most pressure between two through four? Um, right now, no. It's, like, all in the baby toe. Look at that oh. thing. Yeah. So you have all your pain in your fifth toe. It's not pain. It just feels uncomfortable. It feels like I have a big Band-Aid in between my toes. It actually, the other toes don't hurt at all. Yeah, everything actually looks really good. Now you're just totally straight. Like, if you picture where your metatarsal is, it's straight yeah. in line with your metatarsal. And that's, yeah. like, ultimately what we want. Yeah, and so you probably just are going to feel a lot of stress there. I don't think I would do anything with these. <laughs> By the way, we have to talk about shoes. Ugh. No, I'm dreading this part of it. Is all what's ultra? Is that the is that just a sneaker? It just looks like a typical running sneaker. Yeah, It'll be like yeah. the most natural transition for you. Okay, I can handle that. Also, you wear orthotics. You've worn orthotics since you're 14. Yeah. 15. Maybe uh, 15. 14. Okay, so that's forever. <laughs> <laughs> but point being is, you're not gonna stop wearing them. At least for now. So if you if someone has been in orthotics forever and ever, don't just like discard them. We have to stay in them for now. Right. Until your foot can get some form of strength. Okay, so now toe spacers are on. So now go back to this guy. Toe splay. This will be fun. You have to stand up again. Okay, can you pull your toes apart at all? No. Yeah, you can. Yeah, like that's this? pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's pretty good. I know, I've been practicing. Oh, good job. <laughs> now, we're going to do a little added bonus right now. Okay. Squeeze your glutes. There Please. you go. And now try to rotate your knees outward without moving anything else. Move your knees away from each other. What do you mean? Like? Yeah, that. My feet came off the floor. Oh, I see that. I'm floating. <laughs> So this is like the first part of trying to get your arch doming down. Oh, look at me. I look like I'm a normal person like this. Yeah. She's got, you always want to have light between your knees and like all the way up between the thighs, even if you're standing in front of a dark window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now hold all that. Don't let your knees hyperextend. Yeah. There's Rachel's normal stance. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Help us. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So now go do what I just told you to do. Don't pigeon toe. Nope. Squeeze your glutes. Angle your knees outward, which is really just straight. Okay, so now you're normal. I have an arch. Yeah. Can you get your right toes to the ground? I'm trying. Ooh, it's hard. And now look what happened to your legs. What do you mean? You like started using like your internal rotators and adductors to try oh, yeah. to like oh, yeah. Look, view inwards this is all yeah. so, so right. now go back into your glutes tighten your quads get your knees apart again and then my knees nice. outside. yeah okay okay good good <laughs> now get that little toe down that second toe uh-huh Okay, this is what Rachel's going to work on, is trying to plant her toes while holding externally rotated hips so that your glutes get stronger and, like, you have to reconnect your hips to your feet again because currently they are disconnected. <laughs> it's my... 
the base of my metatarsal of my fifth metatarsal is like jamming into the floor right now. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I can feel the ground. That's good. <laughs> while your while your second metatarsal is floating in the air. It is. <laughs> white? Is that all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say your baby toe is turning white, so let's take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is good because people need to know when things like that start happening, it's time to take them off. Oh, they and feel we... so weird now. Now, reposition yourself so we can get an angle view of your arch. And this is your normal, right? You're totally relaxed? No, this is me yeah. relaxed. Okay. Super hyperextended, super flat arch. And you can even see the outside of Rachel's foot actually, like, falls. <laughs> like your heel in the back. Yeah. Okay, so now get into that position again. Oh, look at her arch. Look at that. I know. And she said she didn't have an arch. Ugh. It takes so much work, though. My, my glutes are burning. Now take a rest. Ugh. You're going you're gonna to do that 20 times. Keep facing that way, because that's a good view of your arch. I'm going to do that. I, what, how long do I hold it for? Like five seconds. Look at you holding way longer. You know, your heel on the outside even picks up when you do that. I know. I it's really it. fun to see. There's um, some hip movement going on. I'm feeling a lot of cracking and popping. When I tighten everything and then roll my knees out, my hip goes pop, pop. Where are you pointing? It's, I, it feels like my socket, like my femoral head. Oh, like in your joint? Yeah. Probably, like yeah. Because you're always in an anterior pelvic tilt, and now we're like putting you into neutral, so your hip flexors are probably super tight. Always. Oh, there's a cat in our yard. Okay. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to do three to five sets of those. You're going to do three times a day. Okay. That's a lot. Can I do them with shoes on? But it's going to be hard to do them with normal shoes on. Also, like, the toe box is generally tapered. And, and also, the heel is lifted, so it's a lot harder to do it. What shoe do you have? Can I go get it? It's right here. No, I guess it is tapered. I mean, it probably doesn't feel like it's you because your toes are angled inwards, you know? Your toes are tapered currently. Yeah, I know, exactly. But, I mean, it is a really wide shoe. It is wide. But what's, what's the name of that? It's a Brooks? I just want to know what the heel drop is. Neuro. Six millimeter heel drop. So that's not huge, but it is something. And it's enough to, like, accentuate your pelvic tilt, your anterior pelvic tilt, and, like, Basically, like, your posture is the kind of posture that it creates. Not saying yeah. that those shoes created that posture for you, but it's, like, it's not helping it. <laughs> what Rachel is going to be trying is a similar feeling shoe, but it's going to be zero drop, and she's still going to have her orthotic in, so she's still going to have a little heel lift, mm -hmm. but it'll be less. Number Next two. and last, toe yoga. Oh, no, I hate toe yoga because my feet don't move. Always try to assume the arch doming position. Okay. That you're in like the best possible position. And by the way, you know that you're supposed to be trying to get the base yeah. of like your first and your fifth and your heel. Yeah. Rachel has done toe yoga before. She's tried it at least. And she knows yeah. she doesn't like it. <laughs> so what okay. you're trying to do is first just start by lifting, pick a toe, unless it's easier to do both. I think it's easy to just do one at a time. Lift one of your big toes up and leave all of your little toes down. I can't. <laughs> And I can't. That's like the general answer. Oh, wait. No, I can put it down. Yeah. And I that's can't, good. I can't, I can't go up. That's good practice, at least. So any, like, toe dissociation that you can do is great. Can you get the, the big toe down on the left foot? No. No. Okay. So... Here's another video. <laughs> is the toe yoga trick is toe strumming. Have you tried that? Oh, yes. I, I think I can do that. That's, that's one at a time. Right? Yep. Yep. Here's my left. I, I have been doing that. Except nice. my second and my first go down together. Can you see that? I can do baby. Yeah. Four, three, and then two and one. Yeah. <laughs> my toes used to be like that, too. Oh, that's funny. I can do the other side, though. So, okay. Focus on the right one. And now, when once you get down that that second toe, hold hold that big toe up as long as you can. 
<laughs> yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it, and lift it higher. Lift it. I can't move it. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it. It'll even and drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, relax. Oh, God. That was pretty good. Did your whole foot feel like it's going to cramp when you do that? No. Oh, that's good. All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> this, this side? Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. It's so and, hard, and it's like so little movement. My my toe is only like a half an inch off the floor. It looks so <laughs> And your other <laughs> foot is trying to help, too. That's <laughs> It's like, come on, I'm up here. <laughs> okay, try to reverse this now. Keep the big toe down, little toes up. Nice. And now face towards me. I can do that. How many times can you do it? Oh, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> little toes down, little toes up, yep. Uh, like two? <laughs> 20 times, three to oh. five seconds. I get a cramp on my left. <laughs> Where are you cramping? In my toes. Do you feel anything in your arch right now? No. All right. So that's the goal is to feel like everything in your arch. Because like your big toe flexor is like what we're trying to get down. And it's like currently just moving with all your other toes, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so when you're pressing down there, like you should be feeling like your arch on fire of it trying, of it like lifting while the other toes are pressing. No, I got nothing. Well, you, it means you don't have it yet, but you will. That's like that's just the goal of where you want to feel it. I mean, oh. you should feel some in your toes because your toes are extending up and down. Yeah. So now turn again to the left. And now if I was standing there, I would take my finger and I'd go right under the tip of your toe and I'd tell you to push down into my fingertip. Where? Because under, under like the... the tip of your big toe oh okay as you're pressing down so that's like where i would want you to focus is pushing down into the ground through the tip of your toe i am it's turning white i see that good <laughs> and now oh. keep holding that as you bring the toes up and down but oh. don't also don't let the base of your big toe come off the ground either yeah super hard yeah i see that <laughs> and you can also see how the little toes just kind of want to like claw up yeah they are so those are like <laughs> the other exercise that we're going to be working on eventually yeah you're like not hyper extended no i'm i'm doing it on purpose good job remember when i said just stand like normal do that again well normally i go like this yes that's what i was looking for oh okay. <laughs> i think like that left side is probably a lot weaker because your toes yeah. kind of curl even more on that side yeah i'm way more comfortable on this hip yeah. So that's the other thing that Rachel is going to practice all week long is standing with her feet straight forward. <laughs> yes. Mountain. Look at how red they are. That's so sad. They just <laughs> that they're like so worked out right now. This is my normal, what my normal toes look like. And my normal ankles. Now engage everything. Ta-da. That looks pretty good. You're, you're just kind of floating on the tips of your toes on your left because you're like so not used to being on that foot. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the metatarsal that hurts. That fifth metatarsal is like jamming into the floor. Yeah. So your, your other homework is to read your mobility exercises and try them and then we'll do them next time. Okay. What do I do with my ball? I'm excited about my ball. Well, yeah, that's why I was saying start reading about what to do with your ball. Okay. Uh, but you can start rolling it as much as you want. <laughs> Have you tried your sock on? No. Oh my God. I don't even know what toe is what, like feeling it. Oh my God, that's terrible. Out. I'm like, is this my baby toe? Oh my God, there's so much extra material. Look at my baby toe. I have to like really yank it down on my baby toe. <laughs> Look at the, the little toe. It's like a little <laughs> Muppet toe. <laughs> Look at how much material it is. <laughs> yeah, they don't actually feel that bad. Okay, here's your homework. <laughs> Toe spacers on after work. Rachel's on her feet all day, so I don't want her going to work and just throwing them on immediately right. um, in case, like, we pinch a nerve or something. She's Her toes have not been in that position for 30 years or whatever. 
Okay, so okay. that you're going to build up at night. So like the minute you start to feel like them really uncomfortable and you feel like they're like stretching too much, take them off. Okay. And then once you're wearing them for like three hours or four hours at night, then start wearing them to work and then take them off like at lunch. Oh, okay. And then like keep building on to that. Okay. The goal is to have them on 24 hours a day. When I'm doing my, my toe yoga and my exercises, am I yeah. wearing them? Yeah. Let's say you had a bunion. I would definitely be wearing them. Yeah. And definitely have them on, like, when you do the, the arch doming, arch doming, period. Arch doming and toe yoga, you want them on for. So you're going to do your exercises three times a day. Yeah. You're going to start playing with your ball. Oh. Start, play with ball? start rolling out your foot every night. Okay. Is that everything, though? Yeah, but you're going to work on your posture. What posture? <laughs> Your foot to hip posture. Okay. Yes. I feel like that goes along with my splaying and everything else. Like anytime I'm in that position, yeah. in that posture. All right. See how yeah. connected the toes are to the hips? Yeah, absolutely. Everything was popping out of place. Yeah. Or, or back in place. They were <laughs> back to the place they were supposed to be in to begin with. Well, I'm excited. I said I'm still a skeptic. Oh, God. <laughs> what will it take? You <laughs> saw your arch. You saw it. Stand up. Okay, turn to the side. Well, just pull all your toes up in the air. So see that? That is your win-less mechanism. Like, you have it. Your, like, spring-loaded mechanism to propel you forward is there. We just have to, like, get it strong so that it, like, is more functional. So you're saying everybody has that. People that were flat-footed forever. Yeah. That will have an arch. Yeah. The, the fact that you've been in orthotics since you were still growing means your foot never even got the chance to develop. It's there. Like, it's right there. That's everything that you need. Yeah. And it's just like that movement pattern is just not on for your brain right now. Yeah. So we're going to turn it on. Also, walk barefoot and walk straight as much as you can. Turn my feet uh, walk forward. I was, I was barefoot for an hour today and all my toes turned white and numb. <laughs> Good. <laughs> walk, walk barefoot with toe spacers. <laughs> <laughs> so now they'll be really white and numb. You notice you, you bring your feet outwards more because you feel like yeah. you don't have any stability. So yeah. if you walk straight forward and you let your big toe propel you forward, then hopefully your toes won't all go white and numb. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're pushing off all your little toes right now. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. And there's like, Fine. there's such, so little muscle in there. It's It's more like this instead of like, yeah, that. Oh, that obviously like a, like a pancake hitting the floor. I know that. Yeah, I think it's like a loaf of bread. Is it? Like a whole loaf? It's not even a pancake. <laughs> All right, who has questions? Does anybody have questions? Anybody? <laughs> Is there anybody on the audience? Tom, do you have questions? Should we take this show live? We should probably go live. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. We've summed up everything, and we'll meet yeah. again one week after Rachel's feet are perfect. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. Stay tuned. Everybody. Slow process. It's a slow process. Be patient. I'm going to have the best toe yoga around. No. Yes, you are. I'm going to have the best toe yoga for somebody who hasn't used their toes in 43 years. It's going to be better than it was today. That's what's going to happen. That's all that matters. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right. Till Stay then. Till next time. Do you want me to end with my leg over my head? Oh, my God. This is called hypermobility at its finest. Oh, my God.